In this video, I'm putting the barbecue back into the hot pockets. You got your smoke pull port. Look at there, you can even see the smoke ring on that. I bought Hot Pockets on occasion when I was working. It was kind of a quick snack or lunch, and I didn't care for them a whole lot, but the ones I did like was the barbecue. You could do these with pork. The ones that they sell is beef. You could also do it with chicken, turkey, whatever. So I'm doing pork. I'm gonna be using this Gabrick Candy Jalapeno mixed with pork. You know that's gotta be good. I actually won this in a giveaway that Trumpet Master 77 did a few weeks ago. If you haven't checked out Trumpet Master 77, I'll have a link in the description box. Go check him out. He's a new channel. He needs some subscribers and he does excellent barbecue and he's got a good choice in sauces or I think he does. I haven't tried this, but I love the name of it. So I don't get this really wet with sauce. Oh yeah, look at that. And I don't think the original Hot Pocket barbecue had cheese, but I will be adding provolone cheese slices on the top of this. I mean, hey, that with some ooey gooey melty cheese, sounds good to me. In my last video, the Chicago Thin Crust Pizza, I introduced my pizza dough sheeter. And I had a few comments, a few people want me to elaborate in more depth about this sheeter, so I thought I'd take a few minutes and do exactly that. Okay, well first off, it's all 304 stainless steel and it's food grade. But this top roller is eight and a half inches. The bottom roller is 13 and a quarter, right at 13 and a quarter inches. And the way it's set up right now is considered an automatic sheeter. What I mean by that, you can run your dough disc through here and it comes out long and it, it pushes this down as it's coming down and that turns it to come through the bottom roller, which now makes it wider this way. So you get more of a round looking dough. Now you can use this independently, this bottom roller from this. And matter of fact, I'm getting ready to do that here in just a few minutes. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I want kind of elongated, but wider dough because I'll be cutting squares or rectangles out of this. And also, this does come with spare parts in the event you ever need it. It is belt driven, it's got an extra belt, it's got some extra gears and such as that. In the event you ever need it, this is commercial grade, commercial quality. I use it every now and then, so I will probably never have to use those spare parts. But in the event I did, I have them. These are removable, as you can see here. You can remove that and they're easy to clean all the flour and stuff off your rollers. And that's about the only cleanup, just wiping all the flour off, just dry flour. It does have a moisture proof on off button if you got wet hands or whatever as a safety feature here. The bottom roller and the top roller is adjustable as far as the width, the size of the dough you want. And that's about it. I think I've covered most everything I can think of. And if I think of anything else, I'll be sure to let you know. This is some dough that I made and I froze. I've got two more just like it over here. And uh, so you know, this is the exact same dough recipe I used on the very first video using the Manjafuco, the Fontana Manjafuco pizza oven. This is a Neapolitan style dough and it works great on Hot Pockets, believe it or not. We're just gonna get it to pour out just like that. You want to flour both sides. More flour, this is a sticky dough. Now I did adjust the roller gap a little wider. I'm gonna make one pass through, then I'm gonna make it a little smaller, a little closer, then run it through a second time. Let's turn it on. Let me adjust it a little tighter. Through again. Here we go, all right. All right, so I just spread it out a little bit more with my hands. The actual hot pockets are about five and a half inches this way, and they're three and a half this way, so I think my three and a half actually needs to go this way, my five and a half this way. So here's what I'm gonna do. Gonna layer some meat in here. 
This is the provolone slices. I'm gonna put a slice here and a slice here. Now I've got an egg that I scrambled, a little egg wash they call it. And I'm doing this so the dough will stick to the other side and hopefully our seams will not bust like they do on Hot Pockets. That's yet to be seen. Now I'm wasting some dough, people, but I'm doing that because I am a rookie at this. I did do a trial run at the house and they came out too small. So I'd rather forfeit a little dough and get it right. So we're gonna take our arm and just fold this over. Just like that. Take our knife. A pizza cutter wheel would probably work better on this. Now just take and press your ends really good. This egg wash will give it a nicer color on top. It won't have that dull, bready dough look like uh, you have on the edge of a pizza. You can either use olive oil or egg wash or butter. Throw a little cornmeal down to prevent any stickage. Let's see if we can transfer this easily. There we go, right in the middle. All right, we should be looking, yeah, I'm looking pretty good on the pizza oven. We're shooting for around 420 degrees deck temperature. In we go. I'll probably leave the door open just to drop this heat a tad. That's a little hotter than what I wanted. And we shall see what happens. Hopefully that dough begins to contract some and it puffs up more. We'll see. You know, Christmas is next month. It's coming right around the corner. These make fantastic Christmas gifts for just anybody you know that loves to cook. You can go into Thermopro website using my link in the description box and you can pick out any thermometer you like. You can get as many thermometers you like. They have a lot to choose from, but you'll get 25% off using my code Smoky Ribs BBQ. Smoky Ribs BBQ, be sure to use my link. See how it looks in there. Oh yeah, look at that. So hey, that ain't too bad. Look at that. Barbecue pork. Hot pocket. You would think being a Neapolitan style crust that it would really swell up, kind of like the crust does on Neapolitan, but it doesn't, man. Look at that. A lot of people use a puff pastry to kind of get that same thin effect. It's got a nice feel to it. The egg wash gave it a little shine, some nice speckling. That dark spot, that's actually the barbecue trying to come through. I got real thin on my dough there. I think with a little practice, I could be a hot pocket king. What do y'all think? Let me give it a try here. I know it's hot. Ooh wee! Why it's hot? Mmm. Oh yeah, got that grease running down your arm. You know it's good. Oh man, that candy jalapeno barbecue sauce is really good one more bite so would i do this again absolutely it's too easy not to this is way better than any hot pockets you ever got i hope i don't get sued over that you don't think i will do you? <laughs> but at any rate uh two more in the oven and that's a total of three and we're going to call this one done. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm Russ Jones with Smoker Ribs. And by the way, if you want to know more about the Fontana Manjafuco Pizza Oven or more about this dough recipe, then I want you to check out this video right now.